Hey everyone, my name is Ace Says Hi, and we are back with another episode of my old baking uh, channel or whatever. Um, this is a nice, fun little recipe for apple crisp, which goes great with vanilla ice cream. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. See ya. Hello all of you beautiful people and welcome back to another episode of Aaron in the Kitchen. On today's episode we're going to be making one of my favorite uh, childhood desserts and it's called Apple Crisp. If you haven't heard of it before, I don't blame you, apparently it's not as common as I thought it was, but whatever. It's a really fun, quick and easy uh, dessert that is just a good way to quickly impress your guests or friends or whatever if you're uh, running out of time to do something. So yeah. Uh, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we are going to do to make the apple crisp is we are going to make the topping, aka the crispy part. So uh, in order to do this we just need a standard bowl, like it could be a mixing bowl or just some kind of bowl in order to hold all of this. And then you need four graham crackers chopped up, uh, four like rectangle gra graham crackers, you know, uh, chopped up into tiny small pieces, then one cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one cup of rolled oats, and then one cup of flour. So once you have all the dry ingredients added, just push your dishes to the side really quick. Uh, <laughs> and then you can either use your bare hands or whisk here, but you're going to want to mix all the dry ingredients together really quick. Uh, you don't have to like go too long on this, just make sure that it's all uh, incorporated and there's nothing like hiding down at the bottom. And then we are going to add half a cup of melted butter. So. This obviously is for binding reasons and then flavor because butter is delicious. Uh, you could add a little bit more butter if you wanted to, but this is just uh, the recipe I use. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's my mom's recipe and I'm not going to break tradition. So, <laughs> uh, Once you add the half cup of melted butter, um, you're going to well, do the same thing we were doing before and incorporate it all. Uh, make sure that all the dry ingredients get moist a little bit and that um, there's no dry ingredients just kind of hiding out at the bottom make sure you get uh, down in the bowl like at the bottom of the bowl and everything and bringing everything to the top and making sure everything gets a little bit moistened uh, so the consistency that you're looking for it should be kind of like a crumbly flaky but still sticking together a little bit you know like this uh, this kind of crumbly flakiness but it's still like these uh, small little clumps or whatever that is the exact kind of consistency that you want so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to peel four to six large apples I'm doing six because I like a lot of apples in my apple crisp so as you can see here I have an apple peeler and that makes life a lot easier for me as you can see it's able to go by uh, pretty fast it might leave a little bit of skin on top but that's okay that can easily be removed and it also gets the core out for me um, if you don't have an apple peeler, you can easily just peel it by hand with just a normal like French peeler or potato peeler, you know. Um, if you don't know how to do it, you could look up a video on how to do it because as you can see, that's my last apple and I forgot to do one by hand, so sorry. Uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So once you have all of the apples peeled, you want to go ahead and start cutting them in half and also not do what I do here. You want to grab a separate plate for them. Uh, you don't want to just throw it into the pan like that. Um, they're going brown a little bit if you don't use any lemon juice on uh, them as soon as you uh, peel them. But that's okay. Browning is not the big deal here because it's going to be inside and it's going to be cooked. Um, what our main concern is is any leftover skin. Because the skin gets kind of chewy and it doesn't taste as good. Uh, as it does fresh you know when it's cooked it gets super chewy and it's not good you also want to uh, remove any remaining seeds as you just saw me do and uh, it's okay if a little bit of skin in it uh, gets in there obviously I'm not going it's not like <laughs> dictator have to have every bit of skin out especially since this is home cooking but just a little bit and then after that, we are going to start layering our apples. So in order to do this, you don't have to be super precise about it or anything. Just get this first layer down and then you can just go crazy with it. So it's okay if it starts overflowing a little bit because uh, the apples sink down and that's okay. They sink down when cooked as most things do. So after that, we are going to um, 
Excuse me. Uh, we are going to start putting our topping on top. <laughs> topping on top. Genius. Uh, so make sure it's all padded down and all padded around on the sides. And then after you get that, it's going to go in the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 to 50 minutes. Uh, I did this one at about uh, 45 minutes, I believe. Um, but yeah. So put it in the oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 to 50 minutes. Boom. Now, this is good, but I think we could do better. I, I think we could do a little bit better than just apple crisp here. Don't y'all think we could do a little bit better? Well, as you can see, I'm supposed to be showing y'all how to make caramel sauce, but for some reason, the footage cut out. So I'll show you how to make caramel sauce in a later video, but in order to make this apple crisp a little bit better, I made some uh, caramel sauce and then added some vanilla ice cream to it. And yeah. Uh, it was delicious, and I've been eating it since I was a kid, and I was so happy to make it again. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope you guys are able to make it for yourselves, and hope your friends and family enjoy it as well. So, thank you again so much for watching, and then this is Aaron, signing off.